Tara Carr with Tara Talks for KDIV 98.7 FM. It is February. That means it's Black History Month, and we are highlighting and celebrating our local black business owners. So today, I have with me Eric Jones, uh, the founder and CEO of LFLS Shoes. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm great. What's up? So What's up? tell me a little bit about your story. Mm -hmm. Tell me about LFLS Shoes. Um, let's go ahead and just hop right into yeah. it. So uh, originally, I'll say this is my story. I, I was born in uh, Helena, West Helena, small underrepresented area in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Then I came here for college or whatever, and uh, I had lost both my parents. Well, my parent, one of my parents, my dad, and I lost my grandma before I got to college or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got here, I majored in fashion. My mom was a big part of my life or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like my junior year, I decided like I want to be an entrepreneur or whatever because I see my mom struggle and mm -hmm. barely make ends meet, having two or three jobs here and there, working real hard. Mm -hmm. And I told her about it, and she was like kind of hesitant about it at first, and then yeah. she jumped on board a little later. And uh, so I got my samples made and stuff like that. And uh, like father, like son, or LFLS shoes came about then, uh, like around my junior year, when she started helping me out and I got samples and different stuff like that. And uh, right when I, right before I graduated, like a couple of weeks before that, uh, she passed, and that was that, that hit me pretty hard. Of you know? course. Because like, that's my, my dad, Your grandma, rock. and then my mom. Yeah. yeah. And that was the, like, this is the last thing she saw me trying to do, and uh, she put her life into it basically and then passed the baton on to me to like carry yeah. it on. So that's how I kind of looked at it. Then I jumped out full time, fresh out of college, not knowing like what I was doing, yeah. <laughs> no knowledge of, prior knowledge of like entrepreneurship or like skills to, I guess, start a company, you know. So, I mean, that's just a little about me. And uh, I was 21 when I jumped out, and I turned 22 this past year. So, wow, really young out doing it. That's so crazy to be so yeah. young and have you know started your own company. Um, so, what inspired you? You kind of mentioned this, but yeah. <laughs> tell me a little bit more about what inspired you to to start your own business. I yeah. mean, and to leap out on faith out of college and just say, I, I can do this on my own, I'm not gonna go, yeah. you know, get a full-time job or whatever. So I guess I could say, uh, to start my own business, uh, when I was younger, like I didn't really have like a normal childhood, I had to work, go to school, go back home, help my mom and my mm -hmm. grandma. So I always had that kind of like working mentality and mm -hmm. I always gotta go get it. My stepdad would say, nothing's gonna come to you easy, so you gotta go work for what you want. Yeah. So I always had that kind of like entrepreneur, yeah. shit kind of like, <laughs> mindset and like it was kind of like in my in my soul or whatever yeah. so i mean i just never it never said with me cool to just like go to somebody else's office and work and build on their dream yeah and then go home and do nothing like it's just have fun you know i just wanted to be my own like not my own boss but i wanted to like set my own like cap on what i was worth because i know i'm a unique person i'm yeah. real special so i mean i'm not like other people so i mean i felt like i needed to do my own thing and like inspire other people that have been through what i've been through and come from where i come from and just show people you don't have to be a rapper or a stripper or this and that to, <laughs> to actually like make it doing yeah. something positive you know we need more positivity so i saw a void in the market and i was like hey let me go for it because i got like i know i couldn't i read an article about a girl she started a shoe company and she had like money and uh, she didn't she didn't know anything about fashion, so she just took a leap forward or whatever. And I was like, hey, I got fashion background. I can draw a little. I just <laughs> don't got the money, so let me just <laughs> let me just go out here and try to make something happen. So. Yeah. And and what challenges have you faced with having your own company? Yeah. So I mean, challenge. It's a lot of challenges. Me being a minority and being young as well. Uh, it's pretty challenging. It's pretty hard to get your own people to support you, I guess. Sometimes, I know that, I know know? that feeling. <laughs> so, so, yeah, my own people don't really support me a lot. And uh, it's been a challenge to try to get the product out there and actually make moves with it or, like, I don't know, cover ground, not having a lot of resources, not having a lot of, like, startup capital, mm -hmm. not having this, not having that. I could go on for days about what I don't have, but I'm just grateful for what I do have yeah. and what I have to, like, keep pushing forward with. But challenges would be, like, getting support from, like, my own like people and I'm trying to do something positive for the culture yeah, anyway so absolutely kind of what made you decide to focus on shoes and 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 this type of shoe like a dress shoe that, you and know like, a dress give shoe give them a spin when, give them a tour people are, you know no shade to the Jordans and yeah. things like that of course there's room for that as well yeah. but what made you um Fine, take this take this path. Yeah. So, I mean, my mom, she likes shoes. Stepdad's a pastor. First, but she was the first lady. I played the drums in church. They tried to keep me in a nice little suit or whatever. Yes. So, that dapper look kind of stuck with me, and it transitioned into what it is now. If you mm -hmm. look at my Instagram, you see, like, all kind of dapper looks mm -hmm. and, like, dress shoes. And, like, that's all I wear. I, don't, I only have, like, two pair of tennis shoes at the house, and yeah. I work out of those. Other than that, I'm in dress shoes and jeans or I don't even really wear jeans anymore, just slacks and chinos. But I want to see more of a dapper look through the culture you know so I mean if I, I, I see dress shoes 
and I see like a change that could happen I in the culture, that. you know. So I want to make it a more like casual shoe. I want to see men wearing dress shoes every mm-hmm. day, wearing suits here and there for no reason, just mm-hmm. because. Because if you look back in time, yep. you see men, black men in suits yes. every day because you have to walk out and let people know you about your business, yeah. you're not going to play. And we're trying to like have an image for our culture. It's like we're put together and we're about business and we're like, Running as a pack of wolves, and we got on our suits, and mm-hmm. we like we just serious, you know. So I love that image. Looks, I'm getting that image. It, looks, it, just lo- it just looks better as a whole. Because if I'm yeah. walking down the street and you see me in some baggy jeans and a baggy shirt, some J's, and you like, oh, stereotypical, like. Exactly. But if you see me walking down the street in a tailored suit, some LFLS shoes, not anybody else's shoes, yes. like black owned, like dress shoe company, that's very rare. So I mean, it's just a more powerful image, and I feel like I want to like bring that image back, just like Kanye can bring back an urban look or like a trashy look to me. I feel like I can make it to that platform where I can like bring back a more tailored and dapper look. You know, I love so. that. I love that. Who, who would you say is your Black History hero? Uh, my mother. Yeah. yeah. So strong Black woman, and you know it's a it's a blessing to be raised by a queen. So mm-hmm. everybody can't be raised by that. So yeah. Yeah. She did a lot of stuff, and she sacrificed a lot. I don't know how she made stuff happen. Still yeah. to this day, you know, I know a lot of us don't know how our parents did it, but they did it. We don't ask questions. We just keep moving and prepare to do the same thing for our kids. So. That's my black history. I love that. And if there was a person, a black person who, um, you know, either in history or alive today that you could invite to dinner mm-hmm. and just have this conversation, uh, who would that be and uh, why? It would probably be Steve Harvey. Okay. Yeah, because I yeah. mean, I've been, it's been a goal of mine to get on this show with the shoes. Yeah. And I, I've done a lot of different posts to have people tag him <clears> and stuff <throat> like that. And I do some missions like every day by the hundreds, like this and that, because you got to stay at it. So, I mean, if I could take anybody out to eat, it would be him because mm-hmm. they, they help people out. Like in my situation, you know, if, yeah. they, if somebody has a dream and it's unique, they're 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 there. They have they're the platform for you to like come on the show, like share your story, Absolutely. inspire people, and then they give you this, give you that, and just having that that person as a resource, as a mentor to like help me on my journey would be like like huge. So. I could see that because he's all yeah. about the the, <clears throat> the suit and tie. Oh yeah, and the Steve Harvey suits. Yeah, yeah, love so, that. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Okay. He comes from a similar background too, so yeah, yeah we could connect like like that so okay i so, love yeah. that what would you say is a quote or a motto that you live by go back to my mom again mm-hmm. she uh, she would always say don't look like what you've been through what you're Ooh. going through so i try to <laughs> like like people see me in my suits and this and my shoes and they know like they see what i'm doing it looks mm-hmm. positive they don't know my story they don't yeah. know what i go through on the daily so i just try to promote like a positive image though it's still like because i don't want people to, i don't want to look like what if i look like what i was going through i would look like trash yeah. I look bad because I'm going through a lot of stuff and I've yeah. been through a lot of stuff so I live by that motto and I like tell everybody else to live by that that's motto that's a good as well. motto absolutely yeah. so tell me where we've got some in the studio today but where <laughs> can our listeners and our viewers find yeah. um, your shoes where the can LFLS they get these shoes, shoes. so uh, the website is lflsshoes.com okay. uh, and then the Instagram is at lflsshoes and um, the Facebook, LFLS Shoes. So everything is LFLS Shoes. And, uh, I mean, you can still type in Like Father, Like Son Shoes somewhere, too, and you can find it. It'll still pop up. But, okay. uh, I mean, you can find it on the website. You can find them in my apartment. <laughs> Call me, and I will <laughs> meet right. you, and I will sell you a pair in person. There like, you it's go. just like that. So, I mean, I can give them my personal social media, too, um, at the underscore Eric Jones, and you can find me there, DM me. Write me, ask for a pair of shoes, a size, and I got you. So Awesome. That yeah. is so cool. That's really great to know. Well, um, is there anything in particular that you would like to add? No, I just just tell people if they want to do something, if they got a dream, just go for it because life is short. Mm-hmm. I've lost a lot of people, people dying every day. And uh, I mean, if you don't, you don't, if you don't take that leap of faith, if you're standing over the like cliff of life, you never know what God has for you. You never like know what you could do in your like passion. So Amen. I mean, I just say go for whatever you want to do. And I know that's, People hear that all the time, but I really like, really, really mean You're that. You're living for it. Real. I'm yeah. living in it, and it's 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 not easy, but you got to go through to get to. So. Well, I just want to say we see you. We acknowledge what you're doing for the culture, for the Northwest Arkansas community. Um, we know it's not easy At having all. your own black-owned business, um, starting out fresh out of college. But we just want to take today to, to acknowledge you and recognize what you're doing and say we salute you. So um, thank that. you for everything that you're doing, and happy Black History Month. For sure. Uh, more information is available at lflsshoes.com. That's L flsshoes.com this is Tara Carr with Tara Talks for KDIV 98.7 FM the voice of the city the voice of diversity